Hey, how's it going guys? This is Fuad. For this episode, we're gonna make a DIY pool table. Now, this is one of the greatest things I've ever made in my channel, so I'm really, really excited to share it to you. I hope you guys have a great time watching this video, so stay tuned. So at first, you want to prepare 4 rectangular pieces of double layered styrofoam. For the measurements and all, you can check the design plan in the description box. You also want to have 2 more layers to support the width of the table. Now it's time to use your hot glue gun and stick these supporters to a large piece of styrofoam board. In case if you're wondering why I'm not using cardboard to make this project, it's because I do not have a large piece of cardboard and I believe that it's a better idea to use styrofoam because it has a flatter surface rather than sticking a lot of cardboard pieces together to make a surface. Once you are done with the base, it's time for you to take another styrofoam board and create some holes on every single corner as well as the midline section. Take a thick piece of styrofoam thermocol and you want it to have the same size as the black styrofoam. You want to trace these holes on top of the styrofoam. Please pay attention to how these lines are made on the styrofoam because these are going to be the rails for the pool table. In order to have a smooth shaping, I'm using a hot wire. And you should end up with something that looks like this. It is essential to provide some resistance for the pool balls to roll on. That's why I'm using this very thick fabric material. The material is thick and soft and I believe this is good enough. However, I strongly recommend not to use any towel or something like that because materials like such have too much resistance and that's going to affect the flow of your shots. Once you've stuck the fabric material on top of the board, you're ready to stick the rails on top of that too. Now at this point, feel free to decorate your pool table however you like. I just used some colored paper and wrapped them around the corners as well as the rails just for a better look. Because the pool table is very lightweighted, you want to put some heavyweight objects on top of the base, preventing it from moving around when a pool ball strikes the rail. Apply hot glue on top of the styrofoam supporters and now you're ready to stick the pool table on top of the base. Cut out little strips of styrofoam pieces and stick them underneath the table. To prepare the cues, I'm taking a steel rod from a clothing rack. Because it's not that long enough, I've taken half of another piece from another clothing rack just to make sure they can stick better as they have a little difference in diameter. Using some super glue, stick a little piece of a hot glue stick to the tip of the cue.
With that done, you can decorate your queue however you like. To make the pool balls, I've taken a ping pong ball. Now using a push pin, you want to puncture two holes on the ball. Now you want to use a syringe and fill the ball completely with water, leaving no other space inside. Use different colors of permanent markers to decorate your pool balls. Have a total of 15 of them, 7 for solids and 7 for stripes along with one additional 8 ball. So guys, you finally come down to this point after investing so much time and effort. So now you get this rewarding feeling of completing your DIY project. I'm very satisfied by the outcome of this DIY pool table. So I encourage you to make yours right now and you're gonna spend great times with your family and friends and I guarantee you that you're gonna love it. If you guys love this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't to get the latest DIY projects and more and more. Until then, I'll catch you all next time.